Ah, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel for anybody who saw the previous video when the snowmobile came home and didn't have reverse and things it's back again uh, my first chance, real chance to look at it the reverse seems to be working fine new windshield uh, the piece that's missing on the other side is back I have the parts well the part parts to replace what is broken now you can see where this I've taken the other smaller skid plates off already and stuff just to get a better look at it this morning what's left of this remaining skid plate is still there of course that dented and dinged and should look more like this one here which is see brand new ready couple rivets in the back that have got to come off for when the piece comes out I'll drill those out. I'll drill out these couple from the body panel just to have a little more flexibility. While I debate whether or not I'm going to take those the, the panels off. Because as you can see right there and here, there's some damage and some buckling. So I may end up, if nothing else, taking this side body panel off. And well, that one, I'm still a little undecided. Uh, as I progress along, I'll, I'll figure that out. But this one may have to come off just to be able to take out some of the deformation that's there. And depending on how far this crack goes that I can't really see. I mean, this one has it too, but it is much smaller. I'll end up bringing it to someone for sure. Definitely have that one welded up. This one may need, you know, a reinforcement plate as well as the crack welded. So this panel probably going to come off. We'll get a better idea once we start to uh, get rid of some of the other poop. Uh, the push pins. If anybody knows a nice, effective push rivet, rather, for getting those out without damage. I'm sure there's probably a tool. There's always a tool other than a flat screwdriver. But I don't really want to end up damaging all that because I don't want to order the parts and have the time it takes for the parts to come in. But, you know, suspension notwithstanding, some of the other stuff, and the one bracket that is bolted to this frame. Aside, once I do drill out a few of these rivets, the battery will have to go in the charger and I'm going to work on the lighting a little bit here for you. I'll get started. Uh, my biggest question at the moment is how do I get it lifted up off the floor once a few rivets are out because obviously I can't just lean it over because I have to disconnect you know suspension and steering and whatnot so I won't be able to lean it over like this so I have a couple ideas on what to do for that and then you know an extra bit of support when I undo the one bracket <clears throat> but I'm hope you know I am trying to I guess you could say cut a few corners <clears throat> now that I see what the piece looks like and what's actually attached to it I'm hoping, you know, okay, disconnect the, you know, the swing arms and steering and remove this bit of bumper, you know, plastic here, the last remaining one, so that the piece can slide forward once it's unbolted. I am really hoping, mm, I see that one screw. I am really hoping that once I take these few screws out and stuff that maybe there's enough play where I don't have to take this whole this whole panel off. You see screws, rivets. I'm not sure what all these are riveted to right at the moment. You know, as we get a better look, can we get a better look? No, see, we can't really see what any of that's riveted to. So we're hoping maybe not to have to. You know, perhaps there's enough give and take once all the screws are out that we can get it out of there but I do have the shop manual I haven't 
downloaded the PDF yet, but it's there. I have it in case you really need it. But we're going to video, take our time. Any tips, suggestions? <clears throat> Anybody who really knows more about these than I do, any of this stuff will be greatly appreciated. Of course, I may have already started tinkering long before anybody makes a comment to this video but I gotta charge a couple batteries dig out a couple drill bits and once I start and get these few rivets out I will then I'll work out how to suspend it I do have an idea already but the motor is very heavy so secondary and I may have to require a trip to the hardware store and some concrete anchors and because they have a concrete ceiling here but you know we will cross that bridge once we get to the point to where okay it must come up off the floor to disconnect all the suspension and everything else because hopefully I mean it's a lot for one bloody piece a lot of rivets a lot of them are pulled out on one side, uh, clearly. One miscellaneous bolt did come dropping out of the sled when I took a skid plate off. So hopefully I can find where that goes. Well, a nut. <clears throat> but otherwise, because it has been getting serviced, so there is something that has fallen off somewhere. But hopefully once it's up, and this whole assembly is out of the way. I'll get a clear view of just what's inside. Sorry for the crappiness of this video. The editing will improve. New laptop, new editing software. I haven't had a chance to really look at it. Haven't made any videos since I got it. Uh, this one's going to get uploaded raw. Just for viewer input, which I welcome, please. Any thoughts, any suggestions, any tips <clears throat> before I get into the heavy duty. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you will continue to watch as I start the process. Hopefully today the weather is supposed to get down into well, the very colds. They, they're showing some negative below zero numbers. So the garage might become a little too cold to work in because my heater is crapped out which I just found out a week or two ago and have not been in a rush to replace it because it's been warm and unfortunately it got so warm there's no snowmobiling right now anyways trails are closing left and right but yeah any suggestions of any kind you know will be greatly appreciated and thanks for watching tune in for more the quality will improve, the editing will improve, hopefully, and yeah, we're going to work on the lighting so that improves as well. Enjoy!